Hello developers. Today we are going to learn the basics of HTML CSS programming. By the end of this video, you will have clear knowledge about the basic concepts of HTML CSS programming. Today we will be using a popular candy kit which is basics of HTML CSS programming one click install kit. This kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you are excited to start your web development journey with HTML and CSS. Today, we will discuss how you can create a simple food recipe web page. To build this application, you would need an understanding of a higher level language like English and an IDE like VS Code to create, run and debug your code. Everything that you need is already available in the candy kit. Over the next few minutes, we will cover three key aspects. First, the download and installation of the kit. Second, some simple coding exercises. Third, the demonstration of the kit solution source. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisite and resources. You can download the installer here and check the instructions listed down here to set the kit up. So let's start setting the kit up. As you click on the one click installer, you will see that you will get a kit installer file. Extract all the contents of the folder. Double click and get onto the batch file. Go ahead and say more info or in any way. This will begin the setup process for you. Now you can minimize the video, let the installation happen and once finished, you can get back to the video. As you will finish installing the kit successfully, you would see this screen. Go ahead and say yes. This will automatically open the web page for you as you finish this page will open for you so you can see clearly that this is a recipe page wherein you can find your favorite recipe so an image for the same has been loaded here and you can similarly add these multiple similar images as well as text with the paragraph and heading tag etc so there are these different cuisines that are also listed down here and the description on the various recipes that are available, what are the active users, etc. So basically you can create something similar of your own. Now let's do some simple coding exercises for which I will head on to canada.openweaver.com. Here, I am able to search for interesting functions, code snippets, libraries, etc. So, I will search for a simple code snippet to create a heading in HTML. Heading tag in HTML and hit find. So, this will give me option to look for code snippets. So, I will go ahead and choose this first snippet itself and then head on to a IDE and here I'll just say file new text file and simply copy paste this code that I just uh, copied. So even before I can use start using this heading tag, what is the best practice to do? We need to enclose all of it in the HTML tag, right? So when we put this and say tab with an exclamation mark and tab, you actually get the boilerplate of HTML. And within this boilerplate of HTML, simply we can take up the code that I just pasted and add it in the body section here. Okay, I'll save this code and just name this file as a.html go uh, go ahead and check this change that we have made 
by going to the live server supposedly you have never used a live server here go to the extensions and search for live server and install it that way you will be able to run your html pages on the live server so as i started the live server i can see that this web page simply has a heading my grade book and then multiple other headings say chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 and similarly code for other smaller sections within those chapters so primarily what i would like to tell you here is that in this very very simple heading tag that we did that we copied as a snippet we were able to give different heading styles h1 is a bigger heading style h2 has a smaller one in size and similarly h3 is smaller than both h1 and h2 so you can actually use this as a part of an entire source code for your application development so this code uh, basically has an html document which we know has you, you know which creates a few recipe search website called foodie so there are several sections here and uh, let's break down the code so this doc type html is this is uh, this is a declaration at the beginning which specifies that the document is an html5 document next is your html tag that marks the beginning of the document further we see that head defines or basically it contains the meta information about the page including the character set uh, character set viewport size and description etc then you have your title wherein we have mentioned this showcases as you know that this is a foodie website and you can search for popular recipes next then we have your link href so that this lets you load or basically connect to a resource on the web wherein this uh, google font under the lato font family has been loaded and this is uh, under the css folder uh, in the style.css file where you have the styling defined for your uh, web page then within the body is where we have defined the different uh, sections or i would say under the list we have your login and sign up which showcases at the top of the page which showcases in the top header and then we have your find your favorite recipe which is your heading 1 further the which is which has your heading 1 as your uh, uh, you know title uh, already the formatting is defined in heading 1 further there is get started that defines uh, you know it's a button and usually it's a clickable event then you can see this paragraph tag that lets you the you know given information that you can send your own recipe and get a reward right get rewarded different uh, containers or i would say sections they have given this heading to as get inspired and then uh, get rewarded so these are then get social so this is under heading 2 okay like we showcase in the code snippet exercise as well so that helps in formatting the website in a certain format similarly we have used the image tag everywhere to get your image so this we have loaded in the images folder directly here if you click here you see there are these different images that have been loaded here so we'll just quickly go back to our index.html file then it has mentioned that there are the so this section the cuisine section mentions the different cuisines that are showcased so for showcasing as a division it is under uh, say italian cuisine indian cuisine french cuisine so every uh, the entire section is then further divided into different sections so that you can showcase all these uh, you know eight to nine different cuisines that are available on the page so you can increase these you can customize yourself add another you know division and then say another cuisine that you would like to add to this page or maybe you know for some other application that you are making a web page you can just customize and make some quick changes upload the image here and then uh, you know showcase it simply uh, using the image tag so apart from this there are uh, this stats that are shown on the page 
you know the stats data so this is just a name that is given under the class uh, like how many are the active users the recipe available positive reviews so the interesting thing is that if we go back and check our page here so you see that this at the rate there are special symbols and hence uh, to be able to showcase these we actually so this at the rate is showcased using an m person hash 169 so similarly for your uh, you know ahead of spices photos you see the same number as m person hash 38 so if you go and check it out again that's like you know this and that is showcase there is a special code that you have to add uh, so that you can showcase it onto the platform so i think with this uh, we primarily complete the discussion on the coding part where with the use of uh, a simple but a functional food recipe search website uh, we added some attractive features and that can help uh, and encourage users to browse and engage with the website so just use the section uh, different sections to customize on your own by adding images and making changes to what is already present as a code so hope this helps um, and thank you so much hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the basics of html css programming kit and many other ready to use kits in the description of this video head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain gaming and many more try out candy kits now hit subscribe and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye